Hello everyone, hope you're all well. Uh, so today I'm going to be working on this little guy. Let can show you that. Um, it's actually called, if I can not butcher this, it's something like this anyway. Um, Camille Soy Paris maybe? I'm, I'm guessing that the first part there is short for chameleons and the second part is going to be Cyprus. So that would then Makes sense that the um, the common name would be a false cypress. So yeah, um, I'm going to attempt to uh, to style it into some kind of a bonsai. Um, so um, let's get cracking. Right, I've got myself some one millimeter wire here, which I'll be using for styling some of the branches, and also some 1.5 just in case I need it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try and show you the front here, uh, not the front, sorry, the, the bottom here. As you can see we've got lots of um, low down branches here, uh, some dead needles as well which I'm going to try and remove. Um, so uh, yeah, a lot of these lower ones will need removing. I might just take off some of the top layer of the soil as well, just to see how far down the trunk does go. So let's do that now. Um, this is the pot that it came in as well, so I'll use that to put the soil in. Just the top layer. I don't want to mess the, uh, the root system up too much. It's kind of like the wrong time of year for that. I'm trying to see where the roots start. Okay, we've got a root there. I don't know if you can see that there. A nice little root there. So. I'm going to take it down to that level. Just taking off some of the surface soil. Making a right mess, lad. Right, that's all you are. Craggy. <laughs> so that's all I want to do. I just want to see where we uh, where we stand. As you can see, uh, got some nice roots here, so that'll do for that. Um, I'm just going to put that back in the pot there. I might actually take this opportunity as well. Um, just some quick information while we're talking about these um, these little trees. Uh, you can actually pick them up from Asda and um, Tesco's are also selling them. This one was from Asda. Uh, it has a sub, sub species type um, which is called a top point. Um, I also have another one called the Snow White um, which I tried to do a video on the other day but the video failed miserably but never mind. Life goes on. So yeah. Um, so these are actually sold as indoor plants um, I'm not sure why um, the only possible explanation for that would be is that they are um, susceptible to root rot um, so in the UK for example we get a, a hell of a lot of um, rain um, weeks and weeks sometimes and obviously if this is sat outside in a pot it's going to be constantly in water and uh, it, it, the roots are just going to go rotten so and the tree will die. That's the only possible explanation. Um, as far as its hardiness is concerned, it's um, according to the RHS website uh, for the UK, it is classed as a hardiness of H6, which basically means that it can stand temperatures as low as minus 20. Um, I don't recall a time when the UK ever reached uh, minus 20. If it did, then correct me. Um, but yeah. Um, so yeah, 
um, I'm going to repot it. I'm going to wait till spring to repot it. And um, when I do repot it, I'll put it in some normal kind of composty um, compost. <laughs> But I'm also going to um, add some gravel to it as well, just to give it a bit more um, drainage. So, uh, okay, let's get on with this. Um, what I also want to do, while I've got it all out here, is I'm going to put some stones in the bottom to help the drainage as well, now that I've got all this soil out of the way. I'm going to put some drainage stones in the bottom and then I'll put it back in and then we can carry on. Okay, so uh, there we go. I've put some little pebbles in the bottom there. So that just aided the, uh, the drainage. So let's put some of this back in there. So now I can see where the uh, the roots start. I can then decide what I need to remove and um, and take it from there. So first of all, I'm going to start by addressing the main trunk section. Um, I'm going to remove any little like branches like this lower down, so we can have a bit more of a trunk showing. First of all, yeah. and then I'm going to remove all of the 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 kind of dead um, little uh, needles there like that. Hope you can see those. Um, okay, so I'm going to go all the way up the trunk and remove any of those. And then, um, yeah, we'll take it from there. So let's, let's start with, uh, I'll try some, actually I'll just use some scissors for this. It's not as if they're massive thick branches, so. So I want to have a bit of trunk revealed, so I'm going to start here. I'll just work my way around. Just cutting off some of these lower branches. If you've got a pair of tweezers, you can actually use a pair of tweezers to help remove some of these ones. Um, I haven't got any. Excuse me. Oh, cracky. So removing all these dead little sort of uh, needles here will just help light to get further into the into the tree and it'll just tidy it up some as well. Just rotating it around and systematically just working it. taken a photo of the before so I'll take a photo when we finished as well so you can see before and after type thing okay. 
So they've got um, some little knobs here from where the branches were. So I'm going to use some knob cutters to remove those. Let's start with that on there. Left and right handed, eh? <laughs> Can't be bad. Right. So that's tidied that up a little bit more. And this will heal over quite nicely, so I'm not worried about that. Okay. So what I'll do, I'll carry on and I'll work all my way up, clearing away all of these dead needles here. And then um, I'll uh, I'll come back and carry on. So I don't want you to have to sit through all of that because it's bad enough for me, and I don't want to drag you through that as well. <laughs> okay, so um, I've removed all of the dead needles of the trunk. I've also removed any live needles as well. So I've left some here just to show you. You can see these along the trunk here. I'm actually going to remove those as well because that will help again show off the trunk. You want to see that trunk, baby? <laughs> so, uh, just going to get in there, pull them off with my fingers. You can use, like I said, you can use tweezers, but I don't have any at hand. And even when you've done this, you'll notice a big improvement in in the tree itself. It's getting right in there. I see so many. It's a lot easier to do than trying to get the dead ones off. I don't know why. But no worries. Just keep plucking. Hope you're all ready for Christmas too. Hope you'll have a fantastic holiday. Just remember, bonsais are for life, not just for Christmas. So the fun's not going to end here either. This isn't going to be a quick fix. Um, There's um, a lot to do. So I'll probably edit some of this out. Um, or just not, not film it. It's probably the best thing to do actually. Because uh, I'll show you what I'll do with like say one branch. And then, you know, skip it forward type thing. So I've got a lot of the uh, the needles removed now from the trunk. And as you can see, you can actually see the trunk nice now. Yeah, give it a quick scout round again just to check. There's a few dead ones I missed there. So, but anyway, we're not um, far from finished. So now that we've done the base starting from the bottom. We've checked the whole trunk and removed all the needles. Uh, we've removed the lower branches here. Uh, the next stage will be for each branch to again remove the needles probably by about an inch or so, inch to an inch and a half in length at the bottom ones and then gradually reducing that as we go up to the top because obviously the longer branches at the bottom gradually getting shorter at the top like here so um, what I'm going to do I'll, I'll do one of these now I'm going to be looking at let's say this branch here for example we've got some downward facing here and they are quite close to the trunk, so I'm going to remove those anyway. So let's do that first. Let's remove 
leave that on while it's there normally. This one here, I'm going to remove this one here as well. Like I said, the bottom ones I'm going to just keep this kind of length anyway. But I'm going to pluck all of the, the needles off to about here, like so. Just being careful. You don't want to break the branch, don't pull the branch from the tree. And this will actually help improve getting more light through the tree as well as we work our way up. See, I've got all these needles in the way. There we go, something like that. Could we just do another one? And uh, so again, this one here. So what we're aiming for is to have one branch and we don't want any stray ones I'm just going to cut them off and then just carefully plucking the needles again bugger to wire because they are very fine um, and they look quite young still actually as well. I'm gonna try and remove the rest of them with some scissors because I don't trust myself plucking these ones off. So that's what I'm going to do anyway. I'm going to go around and do the rest of the branches the same way as I've just done those. And then I'll be back and you can see what it looks like then. Okay. Okay, so I've gone through all the branches now and I have removed uh, a lot of the, uh, the, the leaves, stroke needles, whatever they are here on these branches all the way up. And then gradually reducing yeah, that's the kind of the amount that I do as I get higher up. Um, I've been kind of looking, overlooking the uh, the design I had for this, and I think what I'm actually going to do is you can probably see a problem, like here. Like you've got these branches here, which are really, really thin, and some of them are quite chubby. And as we get higher up, they start getting thicker. So. That's kind of made me decide to basically consider moving quite a lot of them. Maybe to about here and having it so that it's like a really slender type tree. So we're going to have a lot of trunk here. Um, it just helps with the the style I think, I mean I'm, I could do it a bit lower, this one here is still quite thick but the rest of them, yeah I think, I think it's going to have to be about there, so I think I'm going to do that now, so off we go, start from the bottom as usual. And I'll go around with the, the knob cutters afterwards just to make sure that we've got no, like here, we've got some bits sticking out here. So just to do a tidy up. Now, just, um, now I'm not going to be particularly looking for a, 
a front um, but I suppose every tree has to have a main focal point so I'm guessing for this one naturally it's going to be about here there's like a slight angle here where you can actually see the entire trunk um, that's due to the natural spacing of the branches um, but you know I might revise that as I'm going so never mind we'll just carry on so I think I said it's about here didn't I Yeah. It seems like a lot to cut off, but for the style of the tree, I think I mean like this here, it's it's not really, not really a branch, it's like it's just like a weird shoot. Um branches here anyway that are grouped together and if, if you have a spot like this area here you end up with a, a swelling because of the amount I mean we've got five uh, five branches all in this area um, which is obviously far too many and as it gets older you'll get like a big swell in here so then that'll cause an inverse taper it'll swell here thin and then go back out again where the roots are uh, we don't want that, so we need to get rid of some anyway. Um, I mean, they are pretty thin anyway, like I said. I, I still think that I'm tempted to cut. Uh, I'll cut that one off there. That one's just far too thin anyway. And the one at the back here, that one there. And then I'm going to do this one here at the back. Yeah, that'll be fine. That's better. Um, it's going to tidy up those little nicks there. So it heals over nice. This is going to be the painstaking part, <laughs> which again I'll um, I'll do the same as before. I'll show you how I do one branch, like for styling, um, or maybe two, like you know, sort of like yeah, in unison with each other like that. I'll show you how I do that, um, and then uh, I'll do the rest of the tree off camera, so you don't have to sit all the way through it. Um, yeah. I wish I didn't have to sit all the way through it myself sometimes, you know. So I wouldn't want to inflict it on anyone else. <laughs> um, so yeah, I crack on and do that then. Right. So for this one, we've got obviously like a, a thicker branch here compared to this one. So I'm going to be gauging the wire based on the thicker one. Um, I've got some one millimeter and I've also got some 1.5. Um, a quick test to see what gauge of wire you need. All you need to do is just grab, grab your wire with just a couple of inches or so at the end there and just try and bend the branch with the wire. If the branch doesn't move like that one hardly moved but the wire bent because it was like that, so if I do it again, as you can see the, the wire is actually bending, so we know that this isn't going to be strong enough for the job. So I'm going to use a 1.5 mil, and as you can see it bends it nicely downwards, uh, so that one we know won't be a problem. So I'm going to start with these two. I'm going to take the length of the branch one side with the length of the branch the other side and then add that in here a centimetre 
sorry, uh, about an inch or so. Uh, let me cut those kind of out. So, I have to be really careful this, with this one in particular because it's quite thin. So, I'm going to start in the middle here just by securing it just there and then working towards the wire towards me. Yeah, the main objective here is to keep the foliage quite flat, like a, like a pad. We need it all quite flat. So when I twist it, I've got to be careful not to twist the whole branch. So I'm going to be trying to support the branch as I'm doing it. Taking our time, there's no rush. I can always speed things up. But the process itself can't be sped up. Alright, I'm just going to leave it there now. And then I'm going to try and secure the other end onto the other branch here. Hoping that it doesn't damage it. Again, we want to make sure the whole thing is straight. Nice and steady wind for the race. Not that there is a race. <laughs> right. Okay, now for this part, that's pretty much all the wire I want to use for the branches. So this wire will just be used to adjust the branches up, down, left, right, whatever, put some movement in them. Um, so I'm going to clip that off there. And uh, I've not really thought about the movement aspect. I think I'm just going to, because I haven't really got a lot to work with branch-wise, I think I'm just going to leave them looking as natural as possible. I just want to be able to to move them slightly from one angle to another maybe but, but no mad swirls or twirls S shapes or anything like that. So here Show you that. So there's a nice flat pad there and on the other side here. So what we don't want, we don't want any of these little sub branches either in an upward or a downward facing angle. If you have any of those on yours then you better just trimming them off. So for example if um, yeah, if this one was growing from an up, upward direction like that, then just trim it off. Um, so that's how I'm going to end up doing all of the branches. So I'm going to do that now off camera and then uh, I'll take you to the next step. Okay, so uh, what I've done now is I've, um, I've wired all of the branches uh, mainly the lower ones, uh, the the ones at the top here I'm not going to do because they're um, they're a bit too young and very fragile, so I don't want to risk breaking them, and they're already at a natural angle, so I'll wait till them um, they get a bit older. Um, don't know if you can see them there, um, but yeah, I'll show a, a proper photo in the video, 
Um, when it comes to wiring these, um, just be very cautious um, where the kind of the the joins are right here. When you're wiring them, just support this area in particular here with your your finger and thumb when you're wiring it um, because they do break quite easily um, so yeah be careful and also like I did say before when you're wiring it um, be careful not to twist the branches when you're doing it so what you're aiming for is nice flat kind of pad foliage like this uh, I don't know if you can see that with this camera I don't know I don't know if you can see that but yeah so that's what I've tried to aim for anyway so keeping them nice and flat so that the, uh, the foliage comes outwards on all of them again a bit like an arrowhead so again here um, so the next thing I'm going to do I've actually put a little piece of wire here as well just to remind me that this is the kind of the front that I'll be looking for for this tree. I haven't done anything to make it this the front. It's just the natural. Uh, it's just the natural kind of angle for me that I think that makes a nice front. But you, you actually see the whole trunk and all the all the branches coming out. Where if you, if you turn it around, you know it doesn't. Uh, it just looks naturally like the the best front. So that's what I've done there. Um, what else was I going to say? Um, yeah, so the next step is to kind of now just look at, at the tree and give it a nice kind of shape. So making sure that the, uh, the branches at the bottom are the longer ones and then just tapering off naturally. So I've got a couple here that need probably shortening a little bit um, and all I'm going to do is just pinch them off really I'm not going to cut them um, I think I'll just pinch them off if possible just to try and get them like this one here is the main one so here we've got um, we've got a little bud here coming out and a little one here as well just there so I'm going to actually pinch it off to this second one here so that this one will become the new leader for that branch. Just pinching it off like so. And there's no wire on this one because I couldn't decide whether to keep this branch or not. Um, again, I'm still debating. And we've got um, these two here and then we've got these two here. And then we've got this one here, and then these two, two, two. So, yeah, I'm debating whether to get rid of... Um, possibly this one. I'm not sure, but I've left it for now. I was thinking maybe of getting rid of either this one here as well. I can't quite um, decide or whether just to leave it or get rid of that one. So I'm still trying to decide what to do there. So for now I'm just going to leave them as they are. Um, what's that one doing there? That might lie flat later on. So I've tried to get them as many of the branches as possible to, to lie flat. Uh, the ones that I haven't wired, like this guy here, they're obviously like all over the place. Uh, but again, I don't. Um, I've wired it up a little bit, but not as far as to the right to the end. And um, it's still quite a young branch, and I don't want to risk breaking it. Um, don't know if you can see this one here. Let's try and bring it in closer. Yeah, so this one here, you can see we've got like one going upwards, one going down. So when that gets a bit older, uh, what I would do would basically to wire this and then just rotate the whole thing. So we've got a branch going this way and a branch coming out this way. And then this little one here I would cut off because that would be then going downwards. 
if you catch me, so it'd be something like that. So just keeping it all nice and flat again. So I think for this tree, I think at the moment I'm pretty much done. I don't really want to uh, wire it any more than I have. I mean, you could if you wanted to, um, you could wire the whole trunk and then shape the trunk if you wanted to. Uh, but I'm quite happy sort of with this natural design. I think when it comes to potting it, I might put a slight angle on it, slight, pot it at a slight angle. Um, maybe like sort of the, don't know. I shall leave it till spring anyway. Um, I'll put it against the wall so you can see it as well. So yeah, that's probably around the, the front of the tree. That's better, got no shadows now. So kind of like that angle. But yeah, like I said, I might change it slightly in the spring and, and pot it at a slightly different angle. Who knows, I might even decide to put some wire on the trunk. Don't know. We shall see. Anyway, um, I think that's it for this guy. I don't want to put any more stress on him. Um, I think he's doing pretty well so far, so I think that's it for now. Um, if you do get one of these, uh, either Asda, Tesco, and you fancy having a go, yeah, good luck with you. And um, like I said, just um, take care with the wiring because the, the branches are very delicate, so just take your time, nice and easy, nice and slow. Use your fingers to try and bend the wire rather than using the branch to bend the wire. Um, and yeah, let us know how you get on and happy Christmas to you all and see you soon. Goodbye.